What's up, you guys? I have a new assistant today. I kicked Jeff to the left, to the left. Not really, he's just packing. But I have a new assistant for today, one of Amanda's minis. I actually have two in the studio, but I don't think she's the only one that wants to play with me today. So we're gonna do some alcohol ink posters. It's gonna be, I see you. It's gonna be her first time doing alcohol ink coasters or playing with alcohol inks in general, right? Like, I know you guys art a lot, but do you art with um, alcohol inks ever? Uh, Oops. Oops. Not so much? So I'm just putting this 91% isopropyl alcohol in this little squirt bottle because it's just easier for me to control this way. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do one and then I'm gonna let you do the next one. That is set up already, awesome. Okay, so this is how I do it. I know, glam for the cameras. So I put a little bit of alcohol down just to give the color something to like move across. Uh -huh. And then I just take a couple of colors and it doesn't take a lot of drops, like that's probably even too much, but that's fine. And just because I like gold, Those colors look good to me really good. I didn't even know that the red was red. I thought it was fuchsia. Oh, wow. But I mean, it's kind of Christmassy, huh? I like the red. It's really pretty. It is. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold in here too and just move it around because it's not gonna wanna move by itself. Okay. And just swirl the colors around. And while I'm moving the colors, it's gonna dry up the alcohol. It's gonna make it evaporate. And so what, when it's done evaporating, My nose is running. It'll be all set. It's so pretty. No, and you're gonna get to make your very own set. So see, you wanna just like move it until that's dry. And they're gonna be all set and dry by the time you're done pushing it around with this heat. There we go. That's literally so, all it takes. So you'll know that it's done whenever it's not moving anymore? Yeah, so this is dry. You could touch it and it would be, careful, it may be hot. It's not that hot. So it's dry, just like that. It's so dry. It is. Nothing got on my finger. It's a miracle. It is. So it's, and it's also really pretty. It's just literally that easy. So I showed you how to do the first one. Have at it. <laughs> Let's move this over here just in case you get too alcohol happy. So when you do this at home, you want to make sure that you Let's get you some gloves. Mm. Um, don't do this around any open flames. I don't know why you would, but this stuff is highly flammable. So even if you want to be extra super protected against setting your studio on fire, I have paper under my work area, but you can use aluminum. Mm -hmm. And that way um, it's not going to be, are you listening to this one of our videos? B, are you uh, listening to one of our videos? I can't hear you. Are you listening to one of the videos? Yes. Um, just trying to figure out what kind of gold you're using. Yeah. So you wanna shake it up first, just in case some of the particles have separated. Even if there's no metallic in it, you wanna shake it just a little bit. And it just takes a couple drops in a couple cute areas, and then that's all it takes. So yeah, I would usually put aluminum under if I was gonna like set the coasters on fire, but we're not doing any fire coasters. That orange looks really pretty already. It's um, a really light orange, which makes it really pretty. Right. So all of these alcohol inks are from Zig. 
Z-I-G-G, except for the metallics that I pulled, they're from Pinata. Of the metallics that I've used, those are my favorite. And these zigs are pretty affordable in comparison. Do you want any metallic or are you good with just these colors? Uh, I'm good with these colors. Cool. Here you go. You may have to stand up so you can see better. So it looks like it's pretty much drying up too soon on you. So what we're gonna do is drop some more alcohol on it. Turn it off real quick. And you can reactivate all of your alcohol inks by adding more alcohol. So if you from the outside in, it'll push those colors where you want it to go because it's pushing the air as well as the heat. This makes me want like a watermelon. Mm. So, do you love it or do you want to add more to it? Totally up to you. I like it. Me too. Okay. So let's make sure the bottom doesn't drip and show the people at home oohs and ahs. I really like this little like circular dollopy part right there. It looks like a snail may have been there at one point. Me too. It makes me happy. Right then. Next one. I like to make these when we're like getting ready for like a festival. Great to shake it. We're getting ready for a festival and I need to make a whole bunch of colors real quick. I mean, coasters real quick. Always great. Don't forget to add your alcohol down first. Very organized. I like it already. Let's zoom this in just a little bit so people can see more of what you got going on. So once you start your own channel, people are gonna ask you specifically what colors you're using. So you're gonna have to get into the habit of reading off. It should be right here on the label, deep violet. Deep violet. And I also use green, regular green. It's a great name. Green so you can violet. also, like before you add the heat, like just blow it around with your face. Mm-hmm. Be careful doing that because you can get super lightheaded. Or you can always just like tilt it like that too. If you wanted to. Okay, I'm ready. really neat with those deep colors. Yeah. That looks dry. I think you're right. So do you like it or do you want to add more to it? Oh, I, I definitely like this one. Me too. Definitely do. Definitely. I'll move this one. Sounds good. Oh, you're a fast learner. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna take 
your a blue and an orange, which I hate putting together just because college. Oh, and then this is wine red. Nice Great color. color. And then, I don't know how to say that word. Cobalt. Cobalt blue. So if you like go crazy at first and like swirl it around, it spreads out your colors a lot more quickly and evenly. So you have to worry about it later. And I always try to like come in from the top instead of sideways. It just always does cooler stuff if you do it like this instead of like this. Do it like this. I've completely lost my orange. It looks like a purple and pink now. It does. A really pretty purple and pink. I'm not mad at it. Did you add alcohol into it? Yeah. I think you need to add a little bit more. It looks very thin. There you go. Whenever you see it getting like those dark outlines, you need to add more alcohol to it. Nice. Which makes it look really pretty. Mm -hmm. Because those look super awesome together. They look really good. Might be one of my favorites. I'll set this right here. Sounds good. And then... Hmm. Yeah, just put it to the side. a lot more busy than yours was. I think I like yours a little bit better, but there's my take on your colors. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, I'm going to use this one with this green and this blue. So that I'm going to use the perfect blue again, the regular green again, and then I'm going to use the rich gold. Beautiful. I'm gonna do the closure real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving you in control. Yes. Control. Yes. I'll do this color first. One dot. One dot. Or two. Side. 
Are they looking amazing? Uh, yes. Uh, yes? <laughs> I think so, maybe. Wow. Whenever I added in the rich gold, uh -huh. it, had, it had a cool effect whenever it dropped. It always does that. It's always something neat. You love them? I love them all. Love them all. Super. Well, we got to hit the road, but I will resin these for you when we get back and you will have them whenever you want to use them. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, you know the deal, right? You got when I say bye, you have to say, I said bye. Yeah. Cool. Uh -huh. So, Thank you guys for watching and seeing what we're up to today. Don't forget to check us out on all of these social media things. If you want to see our behind the scenes travel adventures, check us out on Snapchat. It's our true life. So if we have a drink, we have a drink. Just know that that happens. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And I said bye. I said bye. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? Bye. I said bye. Perfect. <laughs> I, I know. I messed that one up. I don't know you said what my bye. life is.